My grandmother was a slave in Virginia. She, uh, I guess, uh, yes, she was around 18 years old when the Civil War finished. The Harstons were huge landowners, and they were also fortunate in that they were good business people, and they got some really good tobacco land, and whenever they had money, they would buy more land. Hi there, my name is Princess Hairston. I am the producer, director, and editor for the Trace and the Hairston's film series. This three-part documentary series will explore the journey of the first Hairston's to arrive in America in the early 1700s and show how American slavery helped propel the Hairston's to one of the largest slaveholding families in American history. Trace and the Hairston's narrative unfolds through a series of interviews from elderly to middle-aged Hairston's. Well, incidentally, I was born in a slave cabin. A slave cabin is a one-room building, usually with a dirt floor, with a fireplace at one end and a loft at the other end. We were the ones that went to the fields, had to stay out of school, usually two consecutive weeks to either pick cotton or chop cotton. I'm Walla Staples Hurston. We didn't even know pronounce the I, but it's spelled with I. And there's a historical basis for that. I didn't think a uh, Harrison name was only a black name because I knew my grandfather worked at the plantation. He worked on the plantation from 14 years old until 1950. These Harrisons shared their complex lineage along with legendary stories of strength, pain, perseverance, and legacy. The intent for this film is to engage the audience through heartfelt stories and to encourage dialogue about the harsh facts of American history and how we as Americans can move forward through discussion about race. We have completed early production on Tracing the Hairstons. We now need your help to move us into full production. We are on Seed and Spark to help us raise $30,000 to help us complete production. Your contribution will help us reach many more Hairstons. It's no secret that there's a lot of very important history that was just not written down. And it was passed down orally in both black and white families. And it's also passed down in the genetics of white and black families. So it's really all one big family. Thank you so much. Your contribution will help us capture more legacy stories. <laughs>